Welcome to Tutor.com, a service of the Princeton Review in the Client Portal Training. We are here to ensure that you are armed with all of the tools, tips, and tricks to make your Tutor.com program successful this school year and beyond. There are essentially three different areas that are going to be key for you as administrators of Tutor.com to ensure that your students are adopting the program effectively and utilizing it for their academics. The first place will be the client portal, which we're going to cover in depth in just a moment. You'll also have access to an automated monthly report that will be emailed to anyone that you designate, and you'll be, have the ability to run on-demand reports within the client portal, and you'll also have access to early alert notifications. The client portal is a powerful place for you to find all the different information that corresponds to your Tutor.com program and usage. Number one, you'll be able to monitor your contract and see how you're doing against your purchase program hours. You'll see when your contract ends and how many hours or sessions you have remaining. You'll also have access to the Fast Facts dashboard, which will populate automatically for the last 30 days anytime you log in to take a look. This will show the number of sessions the last 30 days, the number of early alerts if applicable. You'll also see the number of active students that have had live sessions with a tutor, the number of administrators who have logged into the client portal, and you'll have some information about the session and overall adoption and approval ratings from your students. So you'll see the average session length, you'll see the average student rating, and the recommend rate from the post-session survey. You'll also see what the survey response completion rate is. Additionally, within the client portal, you're going to have access to a user accounts tab if you're designated as an account manager. Account managers within the client portal can go through and look at all the users for their program or their assigned location or locations. For example, if you only have access to one school, you'll see the students at your school as opposed to the entire program. Within this tab, you'll be able to edit user accounts if perhaps there's a misspelling or you need to change a name or a username. You can also change the location. So if a student has changed schools, you could uh, edit that location accordingly. If there's an email address, you could go in there and add it or edit it if needed. And you can reset a password. You also have the ability to activate and deactivate user accounts as needed, as well as add logins if you need to add a new student. I've included a link to a more in-depth but short video on how to actually go through and manage user accounts using this tab, so please make sure you check that link out in the notes. You also have access to the monthly report, which will be sent to those you designate to receive it, which is usually run on the third of every month. This is a good summary of the program and a good snapshot at a glance report. You'll see the number of sessions, the number of hours used, the locations, the student comments, and so forth. You'll also be able to run on-demand reports, and this includes the program snapshot report, student usage report, and individual student sessions report. Now the program snapshot report will be most similar to the monthly report, but you can generate it for your own date range, so it doesn't just have to be one month at a time. This is a great report, again, if you just want to kind of compare month to month usage. You'll also have access to the student usage report, which is a really good report if you want to summarize individual students' use of the program. And you can run this for a particular date range if you want to keep it pretty open. You could also search for a particular student if you prefer and filter it by location. In this case, it was run simply for one school and for a start and an end date rather than for a particular student. And you can see the student's first name, last name, you can see the username, you can see the school, as well as when that student was given access to tutor.com. In addition, you can see all the minutes used for all the subjects that the student has accessed, and you can see the number of minutes used for the particular reporting period run in the report. It'll also tell you how many total sessions there were and if there were any early alerts. This report can be run again for a specific date range and up to 180 days. If you need something longer than that, contact your client services manager. The individual student sessions report will be your most detailed and nitty gritty report and this will provide a very um, detailed look at student usage and provide the most in the weeds look as well. You could actually dive into student transcripts from this report. 
So again, you can set the date range parameters here, or you could search by student and or location, as well as filter for early alerts. And this is going to summarize usage by each session. So you'll be able to see the student name, the username, who the tutor was, what the subject was, the grade level, as well as the session date, the session start time, the length of the session, and included in that report will be a link to the transcript of the session. And that will actually let you look at the session itself from the perspective of the student. So you'll be able to see everything that took place within the online classroom. I want to point out that all of these reports can be exported into particular formats, including Excel. So if you actually like to do some analysis and make pivot tables for your data, this would be a great report to use. Last but not least, we do provide insights from our tutors, and this is going to be subjective information from the perspective of the tutor after a session with a student, and these come in a few different formats. You might get early alerts for one or more of these areas, prerequisite knowledge, content mastery, unusually long sessions, and frequent subject requests. One example might be if you have a ninth grade student who's had multiple geometry sessions in a week who just doesn't seem to grasp the content in every session and perhaps is not really understanding what they've been trying to work on in their sessions with the tutor, and maybe they come into the session not prepared to work on that assignment as well. These sessions might even go a little bit longer than the average. In this case, you might get one or more of these flags from a tutor. This comes just to you, not to the student, and it just provides a way for you to provide some early intervention if you want to keep an eye on your student's geometry grade or something like that. So again, this information will come to you via email and a daily digest. You'll be able to look at the session transcript and just kind of see how the student is doing and maybe keep an eye on that student's grades. I do want to touch on outreach and awareness because I think it's important to cover that periodically. Um, you might wonder why there's a sullen teenager staring at a sad piece of broccoli on a plate, and it's because we think of Tutor.com as good for you, but broccoli. It's not a game, it's not Fortnite, it's not super exciting, even though we as adults think it's pretty cool and we all wish that we had had access to it when we were in school. However, it's just not that cool to teenagers, and oftentimes they hear the word tutor and just think it does not apply to them, even though we know it can do them all a little bit of good, especially if they use it a little bit each day or week. So really the trick is, how do we cover that one little sad piece of broccoli with a zesty, delicious cheese sauce and make it more appealing to students? And there's a number of ways to go about doing this, and a lot of it will depend on you, your team, your students, and your program. Some ways will be to reach out to the adults involved in the program, and that includes teachers and administrators at the schools. If you're able to get teacher buy-in and support and recognition of the program and how it can help students, that's fantastic, and we have a lot of resources that can help you do that. We also recommend reaching out to parents and families as well, because if you can have a parent point to tutor.com in the computer when they have a, a student with a question about chemistry at 10 o'clock at night, that's going to go a long way to having that student actually try out and use tutor.com. We have a lot of resources that can support you there as well. There's also methods to reaching students. And again, a lot of this will depend upon the program and your students and how you work with them. But anytime you can make it meaningful, as in tailoring the message to your students, that's gonna go a long way. Again, students hear the word tutor and think it doesn't apply to them, either because they're doing okay in school, they're doing really well in school, or maybe they're struggling in school, but they just don't think they need a tutor. They never do. However, if you can tailor that message, either because you have a student who's doing AP classes or honors classes this year, remind them that there are tutors who can assist them even though it's more advanced coursework. Same for students getting ready to apply to college. If they're working on essays for scholarships or admissions, we have tutors that can help them with that. If you have students who struggle in algebra and maybe just need a little bit of remedial math support, that there are tutors that can help them there as well. There's lots of different ways to tailor the message to make it meaningful for students so that they're more willing to give it a try. Sometimes the best way to ease into using a program like tutor.com is to try the essay drop-off feature first before having a live session. There's lots of other ways to utilize the program and your client services manager will always be willing and able to support you and brainstorm ideas to get your program and students motivated to use the program more effectively this school year. We have a number of resources available on our Partners and Promoters page, tutor.com slash clientcare k12. 
definitely encourage you to go on there and check out all of the links on this page. There are links for shareables, which can be um, edited with your program name, URL, and logo, and you can email those out. There's flyers such as top 10 facts for parents, top 10 facts for educators, a how it works guide, and student-centric uh, handouts as well. There's also a variety of digital graphics, uh, much like what you see on your screen, and a ton more. So please go on to the Partners and Promoters page and check out all the resources there for you. Everything on there pretty much can be edit edited to um, have your program information on it and shared with your students, teachers, administrators, and families. We also have an active YouTube channel for Tutor.com, so I definitely encourage you to go onto that and subscribe. There's a number of playlists available that are geared towards different audiences, including students or faculty or parents, and that includes previous webinars on topics like student success, study skills, stress management, time management, and so forth. There's also a step-by-step -step walkthrough, as well as ways to use the different features on tutor.com. So definitely would encourage you to go on, look at the playlists and videos available, and share those with your population as well. We also have some promotional calendars that are out there. Much of this information will be available on the Partners and Promoters page, but if you would like your client services manager to assist or to share this with you, please again, don't hesitate to reach out. And if you're not sure who that is, you can reach us at client support at tutor.com. And that's all for today. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you find success with your tutor.com program this school year.